This is Twit. So, in a little bit of happy news, recall that Signal's president, Meredith Whitaker, made some headlines when she told BBC News that Signal, quote, would absolutely 100% walk and stop providing services in the UK if required by the online safety bill to weaken the privacy of its encrypted messaging system. That's the only stance that any entity like Signal, Threema, or Telegram could take, right? Because, you know, their entire existence is, 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 is encrypted communications. But what's the position of the number one most popular and largest messaging app in the UK? WhatsApp. WhatsApp is used by more than seven in 10 adults who are online, according to the UK's communication regular, regulator, Ofcom. Okay, so the BBC asked Will Cathcart, the head of WhatsApp, Will replied that WhatsApp would refuse to comply if asked to weaken the privacy of encrypted messages, period, full stop. He said WhatsApp would rather be blocked in the UK than undermine its encrypted messaging system if required to do so under the online safety bill. He said, quote, we won't lower the security of WhatsApp. We have never done that, and we have accepted being blocked in other parts of the world, unquote. And he feared the UK would set an example, as you said, Leo, other nations might follow. Will added that undermining the privacy of WhatsApp's messages in the UK would do so for all users. He said, quote, our users all around the world want security. 98% of our users are outside the UK. They do not want us to lower the security of the product. We've recently been blocked in Iran, for example. We've never seen a liberal democracy do that. When a liberal democracy asks, is it okay to scan everyone's private communication for illegal content? That emboldens countries around the world that have very different definitions of illegal content to propose the same thing. After Will went on the record with WhatsApp's position, Signal's Meredith Whitaker tweeted, looking forward to working with at W Cathcart and others to push back. After which Will replied on Twitter, and very important we work together and honored to get to do so, to push back. So what appears to be forming is a bit of an insurrection, and this, be, this may be where the encrypted services companies decide they need to take a stand. Last week, we saw their open letter to the UK regulators. So they all know each other, and they have each other's email addresses, and they're talking. That's all for the good. I wondered what Apple might do. Since iOS is always encrypted, iMessage is so deeply integrated into their products. Then I considered the green bubbles. Assuming that Apple also decides to just say no to government communications monitoring, they could simply drop the use of iMessage encryption and fall back to SMS hmm. whenever they're communicating inside the UK. There you go. Yeah. So it would mimic the way iOS devices currently operate when messaging outside of Apple's closed and encrypted ecosystem to Android devices. UK or Android, both green. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And Leo, speaking of green, I, let's make a little green. <laughs> All right. We need some green right now. Um, this is such a good subject. I have a feeling there's going to be mass civil disobedience. Uh, you know, I hope you're saving your crypto code, all of you, and, and you know, coding what you need to have it. Because it's just not going to be uh, okay. The problem is all these companies, eventually companies are going to have to give in. If it's just the UK, maybe they can write it off. If it becomes the EU or the EU plus Australia or the EU, EU plus Australia plus the US, you know, the seven eyes, uh, the companies are going to comply in the long run. They have to, um, in which case it's going to be up to individuals to preserve their own privacy. Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning is a lifelong career training partner for audit, cybersecurity, and information technology professionals, transforming how employers train and professionals learn 
while following global standards for certification and career development training. See why ACI Learning is trusted and loved worldwide. Visit go.acilearning.com slash twit to learn more. 